Hello and a warm welcome to the program. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Great to have you with us to explore the beauty art brings. On today's episode, it's the new Unsuka School, a three-part exhibition series. And we show you the first part, which took place at the Co Gallery in Lagos. To this exhibition, which shows the enduring power of cooperation and collective action to raise awareness about cancer. Talk about art for a good cause. And we'll be showing you that in a moment, but let's hear from our wordsmith, who reminds us that true beauty is skin deep. Skin Deep by Innocent Chikizi. That's our wordsmith for today. Beauty is not enough. When you look in the mirror, who do you see? Do you see someone you trust, admire, or care about? The reality is, who you see has little to do with what you're staring at. Your dignity may have been assaulted at some point in your life. Take the time to love. Take care of yourself again, and then you will have so much more to offer others. No matter how you look, you're special. When you hear about the Insuka Art School, it's just a term used to distinguish artists who have studied and thought at the Fine and Applied Arts Department at the University of Nigeria, Insuka in Enugu State. Some of them go to the Cole Gallery in Lagos to show what makes the institution's art practice unique. Boundless Vases a solo exhibition by ceramist Ngozio Meje Zema is a first from the series of exhibitions planned by the Core Gallery in Lagos to reveal the works of art done by some of the best brains from the Fine and Applied Art Department at the University of Nigeria and Sukha in Ugu State. I call it boundless verses because I want to push the limit of vessel and not just the limit of vessel in its uh, formal form but also uh, use it to, to describe as a tool of a womanhood. The show reveals her latest exploration of the leaf motif, which is used to address issues relating to womanhood using latest techniques to beautify this ancient traditional form of art. I want to use it to discuss with the wider audience about submission, subjugation, freedom, stunted, and all, and all the expression you can get in a family. So I, I use it to look at uh, where a woman is encouraged to practice or career-wise, and then also use it to look at where the person is not encouraged, like in subjugation, where you're subjected to kind of, uh, you become a a helping hand in derogatory form, not uh, like a helpmate that it was supposed to be according to the Bible. So I'm thinking that uh, 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 when it comes to helping, it means that the, the man should also help the woman and the woman also help the man. Not uh, only one-sided, when it's always the woman is on the receiver, receiving end of the chores, the whole chores in the family, and then they will, the man has to sit like a king and ask you, is the food ready? <laughs> Something like that. And you came back with him just from work, and he started asking you, is the food ready? When is it going to be ready? Something like that. I want you, you just came back from the same work, in fact, the same office. So, <laughs> so it's terrible. Uniqueness is, uh, and that's one of the kudos we give to him even while we were in school as a student and as a colleague in art. It, there is this grace 
to shift lane to what every other people are doing. So it's, 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 she doesn't do something that everybody can relate with. So it's a kind of unique idea and creative idea from inside of her. And that's what makes her different from other ceramics artists that one can tell that come out of the African continent. So he has this time to really work painstakingly to create his art. And I think few artists in this our environment can go towards that direction. Few artists, I say. So that's one of the things that Mark Ngozi Omeje as a very unique ceramics artist. The work behind me is titled uh, Subjugation. So I'm trying to use it to look at that uh, position where a woman is not encouraged to, to voice out or feel or express herself. So I looked at it where a woman desires to grow but not encouraged. So she's occupying the space inside the, the the, the vacuum there, but at some point she will want to ease the pain and then the, the raising up the head means that the, the whole, the, 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 the vessel, the bigger vessel will feel the impact and there's going to be a friction. So I'm trying to look at that time, in, uh, that point in time when that friction will occur because the woman now have to, uh, I want to raise up my head. <laughs> The artist often references the object of the vessel, taking inspiration from the forms and materials of the natural environment. I used leaf to describe the tenderness of a woman as well, and also look at the metamorphosis of leaf, the changing uh, color and the form as it changes from the, t the tender stage to toughen a, a stage to when it has dried up and kept changing colors and all that. So I use it to look at also the resilience of a woman. At some point, they, they break down as well. So and, uh, I looked at that in my union, where I have a union one, where the, the woman, the vessel is slit at one end and stretched. And even elastic band at some point loses its uh, elasticity. So, and I see it in the union too, where the, the, pot, the pot that have been stretched, sagged and formed a heart shape. So the heart shape now is like a self-awareness, a self-discovery. At this point, you don't want to bother again what people think about you, but what you think about yourself. Ngozi is a powerful artist, not because he's a friend, she's a friend, but because of what he, she used to do to produce. No man will come here, even at all, you're not from this planet. You have to wow about some of this piece, because it's not what you come by every day. It's not one of the what you see in Lagos space every time. 
So it always comes from artists that can deliver such to, the, to, his, to our audience or to his audience, as the case may be. It's a three-part show, so the next one will be featuring another Nsuka scholar who works on a different medium. It's more than art for art's sake, and I'm glad to see creatives adding to the voices calling for change, enlightening people about different challenges and trying to solve them as well. Now let's take a look at what you sent in online, then we'll see another exhibition when the program returns. Join us again. Let's start off with this acrylic on canvas work done by Peter Agbadu. It's called On Shore. To this work done with brush and palette knife by Mayowa Akins called Hope. Then Joshua Abaza has this one he calls Royalty. It's done with a bathroom slipper on canvas. Another one which is tilting towards that line is Royal Costume, but it's a sculptural piece done by Aid Izioba. Shiga Frederick has Modern Slavery, a mixed media work. Then Dave Yankee is remembering his childhood with this oil on canvas work. Flourish is a work by Kessa Frida, done with mixed media. Edward Samuel has this mosaic tiles on board called My Beauty. Then Samson Oladele has this acrylic on canvas work. Then we conclude your works of art for this week with this waterfall seascape painting done by Lucas. We appreciate you for sending in these images and encourage you to keep them coming. When people call me prolific, I just laugh because I know that I am not. All I know is that I am working, very restless and ever working. This is a group exhibition by some of the finest in the Nigerian art scene at the Didi Museum in Lagos and they are coming together for a good reason too. Art enthusiasts gather at the Dida Museum in Lagos 
to be part of this initiative tagged Art for Cancer, an exhibition of contemporary works of art by 15 artists. There was no intention by the artists featured to work intrinsically on a theme that would represent cancer. So, but what they did was to gather works, you know, expressing different things they had done at different times, saying that, okay, if these works are sold, um, a reasonable percentage of the proceeds will be used to support cancer patients. So that's what I think about the works. They express different things, not necessarily cancer. And that is also very interesting because it offers the collectors the opportunity to see different things they may want and not just limited to the theme of cancer. As expected, this kind of group shows comes with variety, the spice of life, as there are paintings and sculptural pieces on display. This is a way of connecting the elites. You know, um, these are things that to a large extent appeal to them. When you tell, no disrespect intended, the man on the street, hey, look at this art. It doesn't mean much to him, but those are the upper level they connect easily with these things. So the exhibition, or rather the paintings are here uh, presented to enable the people who will appreciate them connect to the theme of the exhibition, Art for Cancer. So the works here are you know, projecting the theme of the exhibition. The patrons behind this project are using art to fuel the awareness about this campaign, encouraging people to support and push for early cancer detection to reduce the numbers who have been silenced by this disease. Cancer is uh, something that you don't even wish your enemy. So uh, we know the patients are going through a lot. We also know the caregivers are going through a lot. We know the institutions uh, are struggling with personnel and equipment. There is brain drain. People are going overseas, uh, the practitioners. So even the ones that are left, they have so much on their plates. So as a foundation, we decided to do this. One, to raise awareness. Two, to tell people to go for checks. It's always good to present early. And then also to tell people that, hey, there are things you can do on your own. Um, knowing your breast health for people, for females, breast cancer. I mean, um, when you present early, it's a lot easier. And then also going for mammogram, if check, if you are 40 and above. But if you are below, you can also do what is called um, self-examination. The curator, Luciano Zegbu, believes this exhibition is one of the humane things to have emerged during this pandemic when people are grappling with other health challenges beyond COVID-19. Art is a very important tool 
you know, um, that can be used to create awareness. It speaks the truth about life situations. So this is the sort of role art is expected to play. I mean, in the midst of all of this, like diseases and all of that, to draw public attention. Besides, it's something that um, the elites, elite, elites, for instance, can identify with. So it draws the attention of the people who have the capacity to mobilize support for people living with ailments, different kinds of ailments. That's why we are using art, and that's why art is important. The exhibition is titled Art for Cancer. We're trying to raise awareness and um, to raise funds to support cancer patients. Um, we know that there is pandemic, COVID-19, but beyond the pandemic, people are also having married of health challenges. The images on display have been tailored to ensure this message is not lost on the audience. Now for what to look forward to the next time you tune in, take a look. On the next episode of Art House, We see this new concept developed by this young artist, Toju Clark. My art centralizes on characters. Um, I use characters of people I meet and some online. So I take the official expressions and then I represent it in my own style. We are bringing back your online creations. You have been sending a lot to our social media platforms. For that and more, stay tuned to Art House. Your Art House experience doesn't have to end when the show is not on television. Interact with us on our various social media platforms. See any edition of Art House on our website or YouTube page. Join our very interactive Facebook page by joining the group on Art House on Channels. We're everywhere. That's Art House this week. I appreciate you for spending time with us and I encourage you to tune in next week for another interesting episode. Or you can see this and any other edition of Art House on our various social media platforms. We encourage you to stay safe and keep being creative.